A triangle in R3 has vertices at the points 1, 2, 3, 5, 5, 5, and 7, 8, 9. What is its area? Well, let's start this problem by just making a crude picture, just something to give us some intuition. We've got a point here at 1, 2, 3 in space. We have a second point at 5, 5, 5, and the third point at 7, 8, 9, obviously not to scale. Between these three points, there's a triangle. And we're trying to find the area of this geometric shape. Now, we know that if we can find vector sides of these triangles, say this vector right here, who we'll call V, and this vector, who we'll call W, here, if we have these two vectors in component form, then the area of the triangle with these two sides, V and W, is one half the magnitude of their cross product. So all we need to do is work out the cross product once we find the components for V and W. So let's do that. The vector V is the vector who goes from 1, 2, 3 to the point 5, 5, 5. So what are its components? Well, the change from 1 to 5 is a 4, so that's the x component. The change from 2 to 5 is a 3, and the change from five or 3 to 5 is an increase in 2. So our components are 4, 3, and 2. We can do the same thing for w. So w is the vector who goes from 1, 2, 3 to 7, 8, 9. The change from 1 to 7 is an increase of 6 in the x component. The change from 2 to 8 is an increase in 6 as well. And the change from 3 to 9, also an increase in 6. So the two vectors we have are 4, 3, 2, and 6, 6, 6. Now we need to work out their cross product. So getting our cross product here, V cross W, we're going to set up the 3 by 3 determinant method. So we'll put I, J, K in the first column. The second column will be V, so 4, 3, 2. And the third column consisting of W in its component form, 6, 6, 6. Now we use the shorthand as I times a block of numbers, minus J times a block of numbers, plus K times a block of numbers. Three small 2 by 2 determinants. The 2 by 2 determinant for I consists of the block 3, 6, 2, 6. For J, we get uh, the block 4, 6, 2, 6. And the block for K, by crossing off rows and columns, we get 4, 6, 3, 6. So now we can work out each of these 2 by 2 determinants. So we're going to have I times 18, the main diagonal, minus 12, the product on the counter diagonal, minus J times a main diagonal of 24, minus a counter diagonal of 12, plus K times a main diagonal of 24, and a counter diagonal take away of 18. So this gives us the vector, when simplified, 6I minus 12j plus 6k. And so our cross product of vector is the vector 6 minus 12, 6 in component form. Alrighty. To complete the problem, we simply need to get half of its magnitude of this vector 6 minus 12, 6. So let's go and compute that now. So that's 1 half the square root of 6 squared plus negative 12 squared plus 6 squared. So that's 1 half the square root of 36 plus 144 plus 36. And that's going to simplify to 1 half the square root of 216. And if you'd like, we can clean that up. That's 36 times 6, so we can also write this as 1 half of 6 root 6. And then canceling the 1 half, we're going to get a 3 root 6. And that's the area of the triangle in 3D space.